Welcome to the TM12 step-by-step -step training video. This video will show you how to perform a 12-lead EKG test using the TM12. We'll start with the device setup and talk you all the way through generating and emailing the report. So after you perform the hookup, you're going to insert two AA batteries. The unit will automatically turn on. It'll boot to the review and start menu. The first option on this menu is review leads. We'll hit enter to select that. This is a preview of the eight true leads, so we'll hit the right arrow to change channels. We just want to make sure we have a good amplitude for each channel and there aren't any flat lines. Once you've previewed all the channels, you'll hit enter to leave this mode. Then we'll scroll down using the down arrow to start transmitting. Go ahead and hit enter to select that. It's going to read disconnected searching for host. That's good. That means the device is on and looking for a connection. We want to note the name of the device, which is EKG 7C89. We're going to look for this name when we're in the software and we're trying to connect. So that's it for this part. So at the computer, the first thing we want to do is make sure the USB dongle is plugged in. This contains the Bluetooth radio that the device will communicate with. So now we're in the CardioView software. It'll open up to this black screen, which is the connection screen. First thing we'll do here is come over to the COM port. And we'll see that there's one COM port available, COM31. So we'll select that. The COM port just represents the USB dongle plugged into the computer. So the next thing that will happen after it recognizes the USB dongle is it's going to start searching for radios. Remember, we wanted to note the name of our device when we hooked it up. And the reason why is here, we want to see the name right here, EKG 7C89. This is how we know that we're connecting to the correct device. So we'll come over here and click connect. And what this is going to do is sync up the Bluetooth radio in the device with the Bluetooth radio in our USB dongle. And we'll see over here that the radios are connected. We'll come down here to our status window. We'll see that the ECG is buffering with our countdown timer. And then here we see ECG on screen streaming. So it's not recording yet. So what we have to do in order to get our report is come over here and click start analysis. It's going to connect to our database and we're going to fill in our patient demographic information. So our patient is Joshua Jackson. And we'll choose, uh, fill in the patient ID, we'll choose sex, uh, male, race, we'll say he's white, birth date, we'll type his birthday in. And the age will automatically be populated for us. We'll come down here, there are two more fields we need to fill out. The drugs, we have to enter at least one entry, or select one entry, we'll choose no medication. Clinical classification, we also have to select at least one item from the list. We'll select normal, and that's all the information we need to enter to run our report. So we'll come down here and click OK. And what will happen at this point is it'll buffer again, get our ECG on screen, and this time it shows that it's recording. So it's going to record 10 seconds of ECG, and it's going to save that onto the hard drive and then it's going to perform a Glasgow interpretation on the ECG. Once that inter interpretation is complete it'll show us our report and here it is Joshua Jackson over here we have our inter. What we could do at this point is choose to print the report if we wanted to to our printer but instead what I'm going to do is close this report window I'm going to come over here to email report and I'm going to email the report to a physician's phone so we see the patient name is already filled out for us. We'll type in an email address. And we will also type in the doctor's name, Dr. Jones. So 
we have patient name filled out, physician's email address, and physician name. That's all we need to email it. We'll click OK. We'll get a confirmation dialog over here that says message sent. It just lets us know that our email was successfully sent out. We'll click OK. And that's basically it. We connected to our device, we started streaming ECG, we generated a report, and we emailed the report. Uh, pretty simple, pretty quick. When we're all finished here, we'll click the disconnect button. What this will do is disconnect our device from the software. Just enables the software to be available for another device next time you want to perform a 12 lead EKG test. So we'll come over here and close the software. So we'll check my phone here. I'll go into my email inbox. And the subject line of the email will read information, so I'll choose that. The body of the email will read, this is a report for patient Joshua Jackson and the email is intended for Dr. Jones. I'll select the attachment here at the bottom. And there it is. There's my 12 lead report right there on my phone. Thanks for watching the TM12 step by step training video. For more information, please call us at 909 628 8787 or email us at infotelemedcorp.com.